We live in a society where protecting children from the dangers and predators in the world should be number one. The problem is, we only talk about this topic when it's convenient to social media trends. The media hardly even covers any of these issues, unless it's for political gain. Granted, I would say some news outlets do cover these topics, but only in a local sense. They don't spread it out for the country. There's issues with predatory behavior, such as grooming, child trafficking, sexual exploitation, or sending explicit photos or videos going on in a kid's game or application. Don't you think it would be wise for all of news outlets to cover that story to speak about the dangers of that platform when it happened to spread the word for parents to let them know what's going on to keep an eye out for the children for example there's a popular kids game with some problematic issues on the platform now if you don't know what roblox is roblox is a platform that hosts more than 40 million users generated experiences and lets users build their own from scratch Within these experiences, users can play games, socialize with others, and earn and spend a virtual currency called Robux. Now, as of 2020, 70% of the users are from the ages of 9 to 16 years of age, and about 14% are 25 years and up. Like any other platform, Roblox has a community standards. Now, these standards are categorized in four sections. Now, the main one I want to talk about is labeled under safety. Child endangerment. This is something I believe all parents should be informed about. Roblox has zero tolerance policy for endangering children. This includes any predatory behavior, including attempting to befriend a child in order to manipulate and exploit them, i.e. grooming, sexualizing children in any way, engaging in sexual conversation with or soliciting sexual material from minors, sharing, requesting, or discussing child sexual exploitation imagery, sexual content, Roblox does not allow sexual content or activity of any kind. This includes content that depicts, discusses, or suggests sexual acts and nudity. Now the key points I point out here are the main ones I'm going to be talking about in this video. That's why I excluded them from all the others. And parents should really know about this. Now I only found a few news sites covering the issue with virtual strip clubs and Roblox. And the main one that brought this to light was BBC, the British Broadcasting Company. There are some virtual strip clubs on the Roblox application. Now you can't just stumble into the servers hosting these clubs. The clubs are advertised in third party applications such as YouTube and TikTok. These advertisements are shortly deleted after to not get banned or kicked off the platform. Now you can also find some content on YouTube where content creators are making videos off of these Roblox strip clubs. Some of their whole videos are dedicated to role playing as a stripper. Y'all, we finally made it to a club. I got this outfit on because I gotta be undercover or whatever. Like, wanna see me dance? Hey. Okay, that's all. Wait, you gonna make them post for like bounce better? Oh, bitch. Thank you. It's my first time. So. Where you go, girl. Now, if you go into TikTok and go to the search bar and type in Roblox strip clubs, you see a whole string of videos. Now, I clicked on the one right here, and on the top, it says taking kiddos to a strip club. Now, after reviewing this video, it looks like the person playing as the adult in this role play is actually trying to lure the kids into a house with some treats. Now I clicked on another one and you can see it's advertising for a Roblox strip club. And if you scroll down the community section, you can clearly see it says NSFW. That stands for not safe for work. Usually when something says NSFW, that means there's explicit content on that server. As you can see, it's easy for kids to see these videos and think these are cool servers. And they go and click on the link and go to these strip clubs and it puts your kid in danger depending who's on that club server. Now if you go back to the Roblox community standards under sexual content, it states Roblox does not allow sexual content or activities of any kind. Isn't that what a strip club is? So should it be on the platform? Now you're probably saying, okay, well my kid won't ever see that on YouTube or on TikTok, so I really don't have to worry about it. But that's where you might be wrong. There's a club called Club Iris. It's been on the platform for a while now. 
and it's still on the platform. I made a Roblox account to see if I could get into Club Iris to do some investigating reporting. I wasn't allowed in the club because it said my account was restricted because of my age. But when I signed up for Roblox, I put my actual age into my Roblox account. This had me thinking that maybe my Roblox account is too new to be able to be allowed in this club. But if you look at the age on the server for the club, it says for all ages. So when that didn't work, I did some more digging. I found some Reddit posts to get an insight on what's going on in Club Iris. Now the post we're looking at now has been taken down, but you can still read the title of the post on what it's talking about. I caught a 19 year old asking girls under the age of 16 to dance on him in Club Iris, a pedophile I have found. Now the other post on Reddit goes into more detail in Club Iris. And here are the highlights of that post. You have shirt skin saying Pornhub, along with an eighth grader giving a lap dance. Users going up to other players saying, I will rip your whole family. At the end of the post, it states, the amount of clothing that could be sexual and the number of adults and teens on the game who can be currently doing stuff to a child is crazy. You might not be a pedophile, but you could have had sexual role played with a child because you don't know the age of anyone on the internet. I will say it again, this server is still on the platform. Do you think Roblox is living up to the community standards? Let me know down in the comments. And also at this point, share this video to other parents to let them know what's going on the platform to help keep their child safe. Especially for the next part of this video, you're gonna see why. Back in July, 2022 in Wilmington, North Carolina, an eight-year-old girl was a victim to child grooming. She was on the chat feature of Roblox when the person she was chatting with asked her for her phone number. They could be saying she shouldn't have gave her number out. She should have known better, etc., etc. But that's the thing of child grooming. The predator gains the trust of their prey, having them think that they are their friend and they end up trusting them. It's sad to say we live in a world today where we can't trust anyone. The mom said the conversations got worse in text messaging. They kept asking for hot videos. She ended up sending innocent pictures and videos. But the creep, on the other hand, said they wanted more and said that that's not what he was looking for. In February of 2022, 33-year-old Howard Grand drove 13 hours to kidnap an 8-year-old girl he met on a well-known Roblox app. The messages started about the 18th and within 48 hours before she was kidnapped, he groomed her into running away from home. Howard introduced the little girl as his stepdaughter to his roommates. Within a couple of days of being there, she finally told Howard's roommates the truth that she was not his stepdaughter. Now they instructed him to get rid of her and drop her off outside of the Dollar General in Clayton County. She was found on the 24th after sending her mom a message on Roblox informing her where she was. Howard was arrested that Tuesday at work, charged with rape, kidnapping, and sex trafficking. Back in 2021, a nine-year-old boy was a victim to online grooming. This isn't an internet conspiracy theory. It happened to a child right here in Spokane. A stranger targeted him through a video game chat. He gained the trust of the nine-year-old, pretending to be his pastor. For the next four months, the chats between the two got darker and darker. The predator found out the young boy had someone close to them commit self-harm and he used that as leverage with threats to get explicit pictures and videos. He got the boy to introduce him to a nine-year-old girl, but she refused to send the predator anything. She informed the guidance counselor. The username that the predator was using was not valid, so no one was able to get convicted. But when they do, they will face 15 years in prison. How many parents out there have heard of these stories? has heard of the news about child grooming and strip clubs on Roblox. There's not that much news coverage about this. There should be more. If you're a parent, share this video to other parents. I hope this video was informative for you. I hope this helps keep your child safe. I'll see you in the next video.